Hello my fellow Patriots, this is Alex with Disabled Vets Perspective and I've got another one of those things to make you go, hmm. Just another example of stuff rattling around in this brain of mine that, you know, it's a dangerous place. I try to be careful when out in public with the thing. But I keep it on safety most of the time, but sometimes I just feel like letting it go and see where we go. Kind of a surprise to everybody. But here's my dealio. We need to be thinking about something here like what is really going on or as I would normally say, what the hell is going on? Because we have, basically we've got military operations going on all over the country. We've got a lockdown going on. Cities are locking down like dominoes, one after the other. They're playing this monkey see, monkey do. Oh yeah, you closed your restaurants? Well, I'll one-up you on that. I'm closing my bars. Then the other one says, well, oh yeah, well I'm closing my theaters. And it's just back and forth. Pretty soon we're gonna be locked down 100%. And like I told you, everything that the government, city, state, federal, all of them, they always do shit in increments. They're never gonna do everything all at once because they want to keep the panic down. But they're doing all this closing of stuff. They're locking everybody in the houses. There's something going on in the background. Uh, if I was going to say, well, in my dark, if I was going to say something like this myself, I would say maybe they're trying to get people out of areas that might make beautiful little soft targets. You know, like if the cabal was looking to do something. But the fact that they're locking everybody down, big military operations going on all over the country, different things happening everywhere putting up little field hospitals and getting everybody away from each other and then you do all of this and then you've got the surgeon general that comes out and says we want everybody to help us to prevent the spread of this disease go to your home stay there stay the hell away from each other but before you do that i want everybody in as big a group as possible to come over here and donate blood well I am not a doctor, and don't claim to be one on TV either. But I'm just trying to think from the patient's perspective. When is the last time you had a cold, you had the flu, you had pneumonia, and you required a blood transfusion? I don't think you're going to have an answer for that that works, because I don't believe the answer would be any. So why the push for blood? Why the, the military operations all over the country? Uh, the president signed an executive order yesterday that gives him just incredible power. He's not using it. He says that he's only signed it in case. In case what? Well... It's kind of all over the news right now, all over, even in his briefing today, that the uh, Quarquin or something to that effect is, uh, is effective, like 100% effective. It's an antiviral drug that is actually curing the COVID. So if they found a cure they've already said they're going to start mass producing it they've been doing the study for 30 days it's got very good promise so they're going to make this available so it seems like we've got the answer to the virus pretty good timing but if we've got an answer to the virus then why are we continuing the charade why not dose these hospitals to the point where they're Basements are full to the top with tiny little pills and anybody comes in feeling the sniffles here shut up and take this It seems like that is over now So the panic is real because people have been made to panic by the media and by the Psychos on the left because this is all part of the plan to take down Trump make him look bad kill a bunch of people and you know whatever they can do to destroy Trump they're willing the best meme that I've seen was 
the left would be willing to drop a nuclear bomb on a city if that meant that they could get rid of Trump. And they would. These son of a bitches are, are violent. The, uh, when one of the Bernie bros, one of the people that's right next to him in his campaign, came out after the uh, primaries all happened and recommended that the people go and shoot police officers in the face. What the hell is the matter with that son of a bitch? <laughs> I mean, rhetoric like that is what gets people killed, and the left has been continually getting away with it. But I just think this is craziness. So they're willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of Trump. This COVID-19, I think, is going to peak and fizzle. But that's why I'm saying I don't think this is all about the COVID-19. I think this is about something much, much bigger. We're going to find out what it is. I mean, the signs are everywhere. But ask yourself, why do they set up field hospitals? Why are they having the, the military in all these different places? Look at the military, that the uh, National Guard guys and girls that are helping out at these food distribution centers. They got gloves on, but they're reaching into cars going, oh, hey, thank you for coming, and all this other crap. They don't have masks on. Nobody has a mask on. So are they really taking this as seriously as it should be if it's a global death squad pandemic kind of thing? It just doesn't feel like it. That's why I'm wondering, what the hell is going on? If you guys have some ideas, put them in the chat. Help me, uh, help me put something together, because all I can do is throw out what my crazy little mind is seeing, and I see something fishy. So, anyway, that's really what I got. Why do you need blood for the cold? Why do you need massive military operations? Hey! And why do you need a dog that always wants to run for the one tiny little hole in the fence? We got a hundred pound beast. And he wants to try to go visit the neighbors through a hole that's big enough for him to get his snout through and then get stuck. But anyway. Alright, that's what I got. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe, join me and the Patriots over here. You know, we've got a great family going. And uh, tell your friends about me. Let's... Get the word out. Share this a little bit. See if we can spread the knowledge and get other people thinking about it. And maybe we can all come up with interesting uh, theories on as to why this is happening. Anyway, y'all, you stay in the fight.